read the following words. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America can do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was born in Brookline, Massachusetts on May 29, 1917. Jack, as he was often called, was the second child of Joseph and Rose Kennedy, and together his parents raised nine children. He attended Harvard University.
president, causing him to slump over toward Mrs. Kennedy. The limousine sped off to Parkland Memorial Hospital, located just a few minutes away. However, doctors could do little to save him. A Catholic priest was summoned to administer the last rites, and at 1 p.m., John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, was pronounced dead. For four days, the world stood still while people from all walks of life mourned the loss of their beloved JFK. On November 25th, he was laid to rest. As people struggled to make sense of a senseless act and to articulate their feelings about his life and legacy, many recalled these words from his inaugural address. With a good conscience, our only sure reward, with history the final judge of our deeds, let us go forth to lead the land we love, asking for his blessing and his help, but knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be our own.